Hi guys, this is Ranjit uh, and here I'm with Mr. Arjun Bhatia from Samsung and we were just talking about the Samsung Galaxy M30s, I've already reviewed it, you guys know and I also had some questions about it, we know the USB of that one is that huge uh, 6000 milliampere uh, uh, battery that we have that gives great battery life but again this is one of the first uh, phones in the samsung uh, m series that also has that 48 megapixel right so i have a few questions i'm also a little bit curious about it so let's ask this so uh, very casual uh, question uh, mr uh, arjun bhatia the first thing is that let's talk about the camera first then we yeah. talk about some of the other points sure. okay the first thing is uh, we all know that this m30 has that 48 megapixel camera uh, what is the actual sensor and how does it deliver those images, uh, good images? Sure. So first of all, Ranjit, thank you so much for coming to the Samsung office. Pleasure okay. having you here. Okay. Uh, now coming to your question, before I get into the sensor, uh, what I like to talk about is the uh, the whole rear camera setup uh, okay. that we have on the M30s. So it has a very interesting setup. It has a triple rear camera. Yeah. So the main shooter is the 48 MP uh, one, which we are just uh, going to talk about. The other two uh, lenses that the device has is one is the 8 megapixel ultra wide yeah. uh, lens and the third one is the 5 megapixel uh, uh, depth yeah. sensing uh, lens which is there in this uh, now coming out to the sensor for the main uh, shooter which is the 48, 48 MP resolution uh, uh, shooter so this has our uh, advanced uh, image sensor which is called the isocell bright gm2 sensor okay gm2 okay yeah so it's a 48 uh, megapixel uh, resolution image sensor and uh, it has uh, 0 0.8 micrometer pixel sizes okay yeah so 48 million of such pixels okay uh, what it does is with our uh, isocell plus technology is that it helps you uh, get pictures with extremely high light sensitivity okay and color fidelity okay so the resultant output is very vivid and clear pictures that you get and also because you're capturing the images with almost 48 million pixels mm -hmm. the dynamic range that this okay. device the difference offers between the bright and the, the dull brights and, and the, the low and the lights is uh, extremely high okay. uh, uh, which is available in this so the resultant output is you know very vivid crisp clear pictures that come out of okay. this uh, sensor and th this is what we're talking about the daylight condition okay now coming on to the low light condition when when you're taking pictures say in indoors or during oh. night time when the lighting condition is not optimal uh -huh. so what this uh, sensor does is that it has a proprietary samsung technology which is called tetra cell technology okay. or pixel binning as it's known in the industry yeah. right okay. so what pixel binning essentially does is that it uh, makes these pixels in into clusters or what we call as super pixels okay. so they are pixels of four uh, created into a super pixel and what the super pixels basically do is that they end up absorbing more light so basically you're taking uh, light from all the four pixels and making it one that's right so the resultant output then is much more well brightly lit images that you get in in the night mode or in uh, low light conditions so i have this one question so you're telling essentially this uh, is doing pixel binning so does it do this uh, pixel binning uh, that means 12 into 12 megapixel it's combining four pixels means that's a 12 megapixel image right? no 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 so does it do this always or like <laughs> No, so this is not the uh, the older versions of sensors which did this enhancement, software enhancement by you know pixel binning it upwards. Okay. What it does is it's a true 48 megapixel uh, okay. resolution camera. So in the daytime when you are taking the pictures with a 48 megapixel mode, you are getting true resolution 48 megapixel okay. images. It's in the low light conditions that this tetra cell technology comes into play and it moves automatically at the back end okay. into a 12 me megapixel camera okay. with super pixels to absorb more light. So I'm assuming even in the night mode it uh, does that, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what it primarily does in the night mode. Plus okay. we have some more, uh, you know, software enhancements in the camera. Okay. So there is something called a multi-frame solution which has been put it on the uh, camera module. Okay. So what it basically does is, apart from making the super pixels as we were just discussing, 
it also takes uh, multiple shots or mm-hmm. frames of the same picture while you are clicking it and uh, these frames that are taken they are at a different exposure level from one and the other okay and at different shutter speeds basically iso speeds mm-hmm. and exposure levels so the resultant output then when it gets processed the image quality that you're getting in the low light condition will be much more better because the processing intelligence at the back end will decide what kind of lighting exposure i have to give within the dark shot to the subject so basically i understand that in the night mode it's taking multiple shots that's and right and then it's combining yeah. to get that better image right that's right it takes up to seven uh, shots okay yeah within milliseconds uh, or uh, under a second processes it and gives the output that's in, so, that's interesting because i was also confused i always thought that it's always taking uh, the pictures in just the 12 megapixel mode and the pixel binning i was also confused <laughs> no 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 so that's not the case with this one yeah. so anyways so uh, let's move to uh, because uh, pixel binning we have already answered yeah. so again this is a very like generic question but uh, people ask me in the comments so i'm just going to ask you i know it's a very generic uh, question what are the benefits of 48 megapixel and why 48 megapixel okay so <laughs> yeah that's a very generic question yeah, yeah, but that's... i do get that question so about. the simple answer is uh, with 48 megapixel you're getting ultra sharp clarity pictures okay so that's the simple answer but uh, if you layer it up and mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, if i have to provide some more details on uh, why this 48 mm-hmm. megapixel and within samsung what's the difference if you were to look at uh, uh, you know there are at times we keep hearing about uh, pictures uh, uh, indian faces not coming out very well and all that yeah that's what i say because uh, I've, what i have seen is i have tested so many smartphones many of them might be having the same 48 megapixel but the results we get yeah. from a particular phone is very different uh, different brands get different results so i feel apart from the hardware the image processing yeah. is also a very important part yeah so uh, see for the image processing over here and especially for the indian skin tone a lot of work has happened within our r&d departments in india itself as so specifically we were, in india yeah as we were just discussing before we started this so mm-hmm. uh, you know indian skin tones indian conditions in terms of lighting yeah. uh, indoors outdoors all those have been taken into uh, you know consideration when this software features have been modified added to get pictures which are more you know suitable for our conditions our skin tones and that's the reason the kind of output you are getting with that 48 megapixel mm-hmm. is markedly different than what probably you would Others, get from yeah. some other uh, that's brands what, in their that's cameras that's what i know notice in my testing the skin tones it's doing actually pretty nice yeah yeah so, so that's the background yeah interesting so let uh, let me move to uh, again this is a very <laughs> interesting question but i'm going to ask you uh, i'm i'm actually pretty curious and uh, users also might be yeah. there are many phone claiming that 48 megapixel okay mm-hmm. these days so what makes this m30 as special <laughs> so, <laughs> so we kind of coming back to uh, yeah because the see, same uh, yeah, yeah. query so uh, see i spoke about uh, the share hardware i spoke about uh, some of the intelligence that comes into this camera uh the other uh, bigger uh, picture uh, which is there in this whole uh, uh, camera sensor module is on uh, the technology that we are using which is called the isocell plus technology okay so what it effect- effectively does is that it has uh, pixel level isolation which is happening so light bleed uh, doesn't bleed into the other pixels the next pixel okay. so uh, so effectively what it does is that there is not too much of refraction happening as you were okay. just mentioning on light bleeding so the resultant output is such that you don't have too much of noise coming into your pictures okay yeah so that's one of the major features of the gm2 sensor uh, which we are using besides the other things that we to- uh, spoke about so okay. that's what you know kind of that whole package uh, is what it makes uh, the difference for this for 48 mp shooter interesting yeah so this was about static pictures what we are talking let's also talk about uh, video uh, yeah. on this one yeah so uh, yeah. video lot of modes uh, out there in this uh, phone mm-hmm. so to start off with it has 4k recording yeah but 4k doesn't uh, take 48 mega so how does it do it uh, so how is it uh, helping so it's a true 4k besides 4k it also has uh, your ultra wide uh, video recording yeah. it has uh, hyperlapse it has uh, slow mo and it, i think so it uh, has that eis also 
because uh, I was just uh, walking and uh, taking the video. So it yeah, so it has EIS both in the normal mode that you're taking mm -hmm. pictures. So it will do an EIS or an image stabilization in normal mode also. Also, if you're switching on the super steady mode, ah, okay. yeah, so it will then have a further stabilization uh, effect coming into picture. So your pictures would be even more stable or videos would be Video, even more maybe. stable. Okay. And even if the subject that you're capturing and you yourself are in movement, mm -hmm. the uh, video quality will be far more, you know, uh, stable, no jerks, no shaky movements uh, okay. will be there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now let's move out of the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you some generic questions about this one. Uh, okay, I also had this question and couple of users also actually uh, mentioned about uh, it. This has that 6000 milliampere battery, but I also said in my review, uh, this doesn't feel like it has a 6000 milliampere battery because it's not that heavy yeah. and uh, the weight of this also I uh, measured it it came out to 189 or something like that's that. that's right yeah so how is it possible because I know I've tested a lot of phones with uh, way less capacity batteries going above 205 pounds mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. how was this done so uh, Ranjit I like to give the entire credit for uh -huh. uh, achieving this to uh -huh. our uh, Samsung R&D team okay so uh, just to give you some uh, you know more details on how this has been managed you would see that the the phone weight distribution is absolutely even so even if you're holding it uh, with one hand you won't feel that it's heavier on one side and chances of dropping it is there so a uh, couple of things on this uh, one is that uh, it uses internally a special alloy called magnetium okay yeah so uh, which is an alloy of magnesium aluminium and couple of more uh, uh, metals okay. which is supposed to be lighter than the aluminium uh, you know uh, uh, aluminium uh, wireframe which is and there that's within, generally the, used. Okay. within the device so one is that okay. the second is that this device has a super amoled uh, display and if you compare it to a non amoled display lcd has a backlight that's so, it right. have so a backlight. the lcd yeah. does not have a backlit uh, illumination setup it has its own uh, you know organic uh, light emitting diodes which makes it uh, lighter so these two are the main reasons why uh, this device mm -hmm. is under 200 grams in fact 188 grams okay, as you were mentioning okay. and also the whole uh, uh, whole manufacturing process has been such that not only the phone is very uh, light easy to hold it's very uh, thin also it's under nine millimeters yeah that's what it doesn't feel like a six thousand million yeah it doesn't feel bulky at all it's 8.9 millimeters okay. uh, only in thickness so th that's actually interesting uh, yeah. doesn't we because that's that was the first thing that uh, i had in my mind before i held the phone <laughs> yeah i think everyone has this uh, surprise coming in when they hold this phone when i saw this phone almost feels six, like a five thousand million feels like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's, okay, this is one question and I also don't have an answer and I got this from uh, quite a few users. Uh, what about the timeline for uh, the next Android uh, rollout? For example, it's on Android 9 right now, mm -hmm. Android 10 and also about security updates. Any frequency or something you guys have in mind? Yeah, on the security updates, uh, as of now we are doing once a quarter for this okay so the next one is expected uh, anytime soon okay uh, right now and coming on to the os mm -hmm. uh, so it will be getting an android 10 by early next year that's the timeline we are looking at okay yeah Sorry. So once a quarter, we'll get security updates. So that's uh, what it is. And yeah, this is just a miscellaneous question because people keep asking about mm -hmm. SAR values. And I don't recall the exact SAR value of this one. It's uh, slightly on the lower side. So anything uh, you, you guys uh, uh, want to talk about SAR values? Sure. So uh, Ranjit, SAR is an important, uh, you know, indication of the device in terms of the kind of uh, radiation Radiations. it's emitting and they are supposed to be harmful and there are certain limits which uh, you know many regulatory bodies be it in India or globally Global. have prescribed for uh, for mobile or smartphones so uh, this device just like our entire M series or our overall uh, smartphones portfolio has one of the lowest uh, SAR value it's at 0.468 watts oh, per kg that's actually really low <laughs> yeah so the uh, the limit is 1. somewhere 6, around 1.5 1. 1. 1. 1.6 so 1. we are 6. almost four times lower than this so extremely safe 
Okay. That way, if people have concern on the radiations and how it messes up with your, uh, you know, tissues in your body, okay. so this one is one of the lowest rated uh, SAR uh, value product, and lower uh, is good in this case. And lower the better. Yeah. <laughs> so Arjun, uh, these are some of the questions that I had. So I got a lot of information. So you want to add uh, anything else on this? Uh, yeah, Ranjit. Uh, first of all, I like to thank my uh, our users of uh, M30s. The kind of love we have got. This has in a very short. time uh, become one of the most loved product on amazon it has a very high rating so in all um, our our consumers are really loving this product and this gives us lot of inspiration to you know keep bringing uh, better devices which consumers want and uh, specifically if you ask me about the device we would like to add something is uh, on the processor bit okay. we spoke briefly about it it's a 961 uh, one processor mm-hmm. uh, uh, recently launched uh, one interesting feature on this uh, process Processor is while you are gaming, mm-hmm. um, uh, especially those heavy games. Uh, it has a feature called or an application called the Game Booster. Okay, so Game Booster, uh, what basically it does is that it, it monitors your device on certain parameters like uh, volume, brightness, and it helps you regulate the heat in your device. Okay. And also the uh, frame rate. Oh. So uh, what happens ultimately with this is that uh, you get uh, a gaming experience which is lag free. you are stutter free okay and your device is not getting heated up when you are having those prolonged uh, gaming, gaming sessions, sessions. yeah interesting because i did my testing in the regular mode i never used that uh, game mode <laughs> okay okay must try it with that <laughs> i'll definitely yeah. so anyways uh, these were some of the questions that i had and I'm, i'm thankful for uh, taking out the time and answering this so guys uh, that was it for this uh, m30s and uh, i also got uh, some clarity about that 48 megapixel camera i was always thinking that it used to always uh, take the photographs in the 12 megapixel pixel winning mode but again thanks uh, to you that's not the case uh, so again guys uh, uh, that is it for this video and if you guys are still not subscribed uh, hit that subscribe button uh, thanks for watching uh, catch you guys later take care